Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to unbox and review a gigabit router from TP-Link. It's the model Archer C6. It's a dual band router. And in 2020, when I'm doing this review, it's one of the most sold routers out there. And it's also one of the cheapest gigabit routers that you can buy. This one, it was around 20 euro. And I'm really, really curious to see the performance and what's the maximum speed we can get with this gigabit router. As you can see, the box comes, comes in this plastic wrap. So I'm going to take it out and then we jump into the box to see what we have inside. This is how the box looks like without the plastic cover. On the front of the box, we have the router itself. It's a very nice picture with four antennas. We have the model of the router and we have some specifications. And that's it. Let's see what we have on the back of the box. On the back of the box, we have some other details and specifications of this router. We have a picture with the back of the router where we can see all the ports and all the connections. Here we have some information about the Wi-Fi coverage and uh, it says that this router offers a wider coverage than most of the routers. And here we have some other specifications like fast uh, internet, MU, MIMO uh, coverage, secure VPN access, and we have personalized management with parental control and guest network setup. So you, we can set up a guest network. On this part of the box, we have another picture and we have some information about how to set up the router and today I'm going to use the TP-Link Tether application because I don't have the laptop with me. Here we have the code and the model and that's it. On top of the box we have the model of the router and another picture and here we have some full specifications of this router but I'm not going to spend too much time on these specifications because you can check them yourself on the internet. Okay, let's open the box. This is what we have inside the box. It comes in a plastic bag. We'll have a look later. Let's see the accessories. So we have a quick installation guide in multiple languages. Some piece of papers. We have an Ethernet cable. It's around one meter long. And we have the power adapter. Which is quite small and compact. And this is the output rating, 12 volts with one amp. And this is it. This is all we have inside the box. Let's take a look at the router itself. So this is the router. I'll take it out from the plastic bag. And as you can see, it comes also with a plastic cover, not to scratch it. Because as I can see, it's a router in glossy black. That means that you will scratch it very, very, very easily. And also, as you can see, the antennas comes pre-installed so you don't have to install them by yourself they are already attached to the router and they also come in this plastic wraps as you can see you cannot take out the antennas they are fixed that's why they come pre-installed so you cannot remove any of these four antennas Let's have a closer look at the router. So here we have the LED. It's the power LED, the Wi-Fi LED, the network LED, the Wi-Fi LED, and other indicators. 
here we don't have anything else on this side neither this is the back of the router so we have the power slot the power socket we have the on and off button we have the reset button we have the vps button we have the connector for the internet and for ethernet ports and that's it also on this side we don't have anything else and on the back of the router we have four small legs but it's plastic so you need to put some rubber if you want to, to stay in place also you have two holes if you want to mount this router on the wall and here you have the details about the router itself the wireless password the id for the 2.4 and the, the 5 gigahertz networks and this is it it looks premium it looks very nice mm, but to be honest with you i don't like the fact that it comes in glossy black because this kind of material it's very 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 easy to be scratched but apart from this the router itself looks okay i'm curious to see the performance but before connecting it to the internet let's plug it in and see what uh, what what is the color of the leds this is the power cord the length of the power cable is around 1.5 meters so be careful what you install it so let's put it here let's start the router and as you can see we have just the green led here indicating that the router is on but nothing else because it's not connected to the internet okay let's connect it uh, it will be very difficult for me to record where i install the router because it's a very very hard accessible place in my home so what i'm going to do i'm going to install it and then i'm going to show you how to set it up via the application so guys first thing you need to do you have to go to the app store and install the application called tp-link tether okay in my case i installed it the second step would be to go to wi-fi and connect to the new router okay so if i turn on the wi-fi you will find the new router it depends on the id of your router and then just connect to the wi-fi enter the password in my case i already did this step and now i'm connecting to the network and now i'm connected but i have no internet the second step would be to open the tether application and this is how the application looks like this is the router if i click on it it will guide me step by step how to install it okay now it asks me to create a new password in order to access the router i'll create i'll put a dummy password my connection type i will select ppo Okay. and now i have to enter the username and the password provided by my internet provider i enter the password and the username and now i have to provide a new name for my network if i want to change the, the network name but i will click now the default settings and it automatically brings me the password and the um, network from the router i'll click next these are the details of my connection this is my 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi network and this is my 5 gigahertz wi-fi network apply and now the router should connect to the internet and we should be able to start using the internet and now it tells me to connect to the Wi-Fi again. I'll copy the password. And let me go to the Wi-Fi.
and now I'm connecting to the router. Okay, I'm connected. And let's go back to the application. And now it's testing the network connection and this is it. Now the router is already up and running. Let's click finish. And this is how the interface of the application looks like, not now. So what we have here, so we have one client connected to this router. It's my phone. And here we have some other settings that we can do via this application. So let's do quick setup. Okay, a quick setup goes uh, from the, the start. Wireless, here you can change the name of the network if you want. Internet connection. Let's see. Okay, we have the details about the provider and the username and the password. And we have other settings. I have to tell you that I'm not a technical guy. I'm not familiar with the network settings, so I'm going to use the default one. System. Here you can reboot, you can reset it to factory default, you can log out, you can check for firmware updates, let's see. And I have one update. I'm not going to update it now. Back, advanced settings. Here I have to go via laptop or via browser to this address to do advanced settings. And this is it. And something else very important. If you want to manage multiple devices via this application, you can log into the application. Yes, you have to sign up to create an account. I already have an account. In my case, login. This is my account and my password. I'm going to log in. Okay, and now I have my account here, my devices. This is my old router and this is my new one. And as you can see, it's everything fine. Now keep in mind that when I set up this router on the wireless, I selected Smart Connect. That means that the device will automatically connect to the 2.4 GHz or to the 5 GHz network, depending on the coverage. But if you want to manually connect to one of these networks, you just go to the wireless, untick this box, and then you will have two different networks. Let's say, let's leave it like this for the 2.4 GHz, and let's leave it with 5G for the 5 GHz. We click save, and then we'll have to reconnect to the, for example, 5 GHz network manually. And then you'll be able to, let's copy the password, and then you'll be able to manually select to which network you want. For example, if you want to stay only on 5 GHz network, you can stay only on 5 GHz network without switching to the 2.4 GHz network. Right now, we are going to test the speed. And because I don't have a laptop right now, I'm going to use my smartphone. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S10. I'm connected to the 5 GHz network and I'm going to use the speed test application from Ookla to test the download and upload speed. So let's hit the go button and I'm right next to the router and the download speed is up to 500 megs. And let's see the upload speed. Wow. The upload speed it goes up to 500 megs also so as you can see the maximum speed you can get on a wi-fi connection on a 5 gigahertz wi-fi connection it's 500 megs which is quite impressive i have a gigabit connection fiber 
it's symmetrical fiber and uh, in fact this is what I also get with my actual router which is a TP-Link uh, C2300 which is much better than uh, the C6 so in terms of quality in terms of speed is the same quality and the same speed very nice this is a very very good router let's also test the 2.4 gigahertz network so I'm going to the Wi-Fi I'm going to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network okay I'm connected I'm going to speed test again hit the go button and see so exactly as I was expecting it goes up to 90 megs for download and up to I would say 50 megs for download but this is the typical speed you get on a 2.4 gigahertz connection still very good I'm going to use of course the 5 gigahertz connection but if you have an older device you can still use it with 2.4 gigahertz connection so you see the speed it's a very good one no no uh, no comments here now as I was telling you I am right next to the router but I want to test what is the speed if I go away from the router so I go back to the 5 gigahertz network okay it's connected and now I'm going to move away from the router and I'm going to go in the farthest room in my house and between the router and the farthest room I have like three big concrete walls okay I'm in the other corner of the house as I was telling you I have three big concrete walls between the router and this room as you can see the signal dropped one line the Wi-Fi signal and let's see the speed so uh, if you remember we had 500 megs up and down and now let's see what is the speed so it's up to 180 I'd say download speed and let's see the upload speed so you see that the upload goes up to 80 but still again I have three concrete walls between me and the router it's a very good speed I would say considering the fact that look the the signal it drops between one and two lines you can still use it without a problem and also let's test here the 2.4 gigahertz connection I'm going to connect to the 2.4 okay I'm connected and let's see as you can see the signal it's almost full so that means on the 2.4 gigahertz connection you have a very 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 good signal and let's test the speed yeah the speed it's also affected on the 2.4 gigahertz even if the signal shows that it's almost full but still you have a decent speed look the upload speed on 2.4 is very very low yeah up to 12 max yeah so guys this was my review for this router I have to say that I'm impressed so for 20 euro you get a gigabit router with speeds up to 500 megs upload and download on Wi-Fi which is incredible in my opinion it's the best value for money router that you can buy right now I'm curious to see how it will perform in time if it will disconnect or not from the uh, from the network but from this test I have to say that this is the only router you need to buy you don't need to go for more expensive routers you saw that the coverage is also quite good it's on pair with my old router so again no no objections if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button thanks for watching